Oh, hello, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and also my dearest friends. I am Jenna Valencia. I am an eighth grade student from SMP Manjusri. Thank you for the time and the opportunity that has been given to me today to talk about Kartini. And also, I hope all of you here in a good health. Today, I'm going to tell you about Eric Kartini. Do you know who is Kartini? If you don't, let me tell you about her. Kartini is the lady who fight for women's emancipation, where she fought for every single woman's right. She brought change for Indonesian women, because at that time, women are not being able to go to school and do not have the same rights as men. And to be appreciated like this day, be a successful woman, like be a president, business owner, teacher, doctor, or any kind of today's successful definition is impossible. Kartini was born and raised in a noble environment. Kartini received a pretty good education, unlike indigenous women who come among ordinary people. However, after that, Kartini is required to stay home, according to Japanese tradition. Kartini continues to learn. She taught herself and corresponded by mail with her friends who came from the Netherlands. Because she was reading many references from Europe, collection Kartini's letters are published with the title Habis Gelap Terbit Laterang. From that time, Kartini's action to promote women in Indonesia was begin including by establishing a school of women with the support of her husband. Unfortunately, Kartini died at a young age, which is 25 years old, a few days after giving birth to her first and last child. Kartini's birthday, April 21st, was commemorated every year for the struggle and devotion of the Indonesian women's warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, and also my dearest friends, we all must be impressed with the figure of Redding Ajeng Kartini. Kartini has been the inspiration to all of us. The fight of her is very important for our country. In addition, there are no many modern day Kartini like our mother, our teacher, and the woman around us. The woman worked hard for the life by imitating the figure of Eric Kartini. We can take the action to continue the fight and ideals of Ibu Kartini to save the women. It is because today, there are still many women who need help and need the new Kartini who fight for their rights. Therefore, let us try to learn the attitude and behavior of Kartini. We should not be lazy to study, not only women, but also men. By that, we can make Indonesia to be a better nation. Just imagine, Kartini was struggling to fight for education. We were are so easy with the ease of today's education and technology. We should not waste it just like that. We have to be a good generation that can make our past parents and friends around us proud. Do not give up easily. Ladies and gentlemen, and also my dearest friends, this is the end of my speech about Kartini. I hope we can all be better generations. Finally, I apologize if there's any mistakes in the speech. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.